Hi, I'm Debbie and I work at the Stitch and Den. Today I am going to do a demo for Friday Friends of Fiber because we are still um, not having open classroom for close contact. Today is also we're going to work with creating your own fabric using your scraps from your yarn. So this was, this is the creation and this is what it assembled into and then I stitched over it and I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm not going to do the stitching today, but before I get started, I want to tell you a couple of things that are happening at the, the stitching den. We have Best of Estes, which is a quilt challenge. It's an 18 by 18 inch quilt that you will complete. We have bundles. I want to make sure you can see this. Jenny did this for us as our sample. She used the spring summer packet, not to mean that you have to do a theme spring summer, but that's the colors that they kind of go together and that's what they resemble. So we have three bundle choices that you can choose from if you join or choose to do the challenge. You choose one of them. There's three fat quarters in them and the fat quarters have to be visible in the quilt so you can recognize them. This is going on right now, so you can stop in the store and pick up your bundle. They are limited on the quantity of the colors, so if you have a preference of which color you like, you might want to get in early. On September 30th, we will no longer be selling the bundles, and on October 30th is the deadline to turn in your challenge quilt. Customers are gonna be able to vote on your quilt, so you can send your friends in from November 16th through March 29th. Winners will be announced April 5th. Quilts will be, remain on display till May 15th. We also have the Quilters Trek, which is used to be called the Row by Row Quilting and Challenge, and it is starting June 21st. It is going to be nine block patterns, and we will have uh, fat quarter bundles to coordinate with those if you want to pick up the bundle for your challenge on that. And then on tomorrow, or actually, I guess this is airing today. So it'll be uh, Friday and Saturday, the 12th and the 13th. We have an anniversary sale in the store. Great bargains. And if you have signed up as a, on our new reward program, you will get extra points for that. So let's get started with creating some fabric using our scraps that we have around. So for the creating your own fabric, I'm using the Sylvie Sulky water soluble stabilizer. I cut a piece and then I started off by you have to make a base for your quilt. So I cut up some fabric. You can just cut them in little strips and I cut some yarn pieces and you can take from your your scraps of your yarn or if you have little tail ends of your, your yarn, you can use those. You can use your, your uh, felting yarns. Of course, you can use your fabric. You can also use those beautiful ribbons in this. So I started off with my water soluble. And then I started building a base here. I'm actually gonna try to create a, a ponderosa tree. So I just put them together and I kind of stirred them together and then I shaped them a little bit. Now this is your backing of this. So it doesn't have to be to so perfect. And then I'm gonna put the trunks on. The trunk, not trunks. I'm gonna put a trunk on. And this is gonna be a crooked tree because I love the gnarly trees that we have up here. Now we need to add some more product to it. So I'm gonna just put some, these are gonna kind of represent some branches and these are just the fabric strips that are cut. And it needs a little more color. So I'm gonna add this other fabric. Again, these are little pieces that I just cut up. Gonna put some yarn on here. I'm trying to make them a little branchy but not too defined because this is a free motion, free fun to do, to just to have fun with. 
I'm gonna put my fingers in there a little bit and kind of stir it up a little bit. Then what I would do is I'm gonna add another piece of silky, soluble water stabilizer. And then I would take, and I'm gonna show you on one that I already completed. Oh, my tree's upside down, I apologize. And you are going to stitch on it. So you're going to run a stitch up your trunk way. Then you're going to run out to each of the branches and come back. And you want to get kind of close on this because some of these little pieces may not get caught if you give too much space in between. Now is the fun part. I'm going to dip this in some warm water. And it's going to wash away. Now this one here I did as a spruce tree, so the shape's a little different on it. And then you'd run it under cold water to get the rest of the sticky out. So you wanna wash it and rinse it until the sticky is all gone. And then when you're finished, you can just stitch this onto something. Now think about using this as mountains or rivers or lakes or fish, anything that you want to add with an a little three-dimensional fill for and that is done and it's super fun so I hope you enjoy that we do have the soluble silky water stabilizer in the store of course we also have yarn and we have fabric so if you need any of the supplies please come in and visit us or contact us online thank you and look forward to you next Friday Friday Friends of Fiber bye